What would you imagine a moon in the Kuiper Belt might look like? Probably not like Pluto's moon Charon. This is Pluto in a minute. Before arriving in the Pluto system, a lot of scientists assumed that Pluto's moon Charon would be pretty much an uninteresting, heavily cratered body, not unlike the planet Mercury. Earth-based observations show that there was no atmosphere on the moon, so there was little hope of something interesting like resurfacing going on. But when New Horizons returned to the first ever close-up detailed images of Charon's surface, it turned out scientists were wrong. Charon is actually fascinating, and it makes the story a little bit more interesting. Sharon is heavily cratered like you would expect a body in the Kuiper Belt to be, but it also has chasms and craters marking its surface, and they're not small either. The most pronounced chasm lies in the southern hemisphere, and it is miles longer and deeper than the Grand Canyon in Arizona. There are prominent craters up to 60 miles across, and the ejecta pattern of some of these craters is puzzling. You would think that what's blasted out of the crater would be the same thing as what's inside the crater, but on Sharon, that does not necessarily seem to be the case. And there are areas on Sharon's surface that are remarkably smooth, suggesting that something has resurfaced the moon in recent history. Future data from New Horizons will doubtlessly shed light on Sharon's past and present, but in the meantime, if you want to learn more about Sharon and Pluto, be sure to check out the New Horizons websites, join the conversation online using the hashtag PlutoFlyby, and of course, come back here every day for more Pluto in a minute.